Greetings again, uh, internet and folks on the internet. We're back with uh, more of our reading-heavy, theoretical, speculation-heavy playthrough of Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Still working on... Um, Getting through the FedEx foul-smelling sewer. Yep. Yay. It's like... I think that's supposed to be a somewhat of an explanation for uh, the invisible water monster in the first game. I can accept, I can that. accept that. Yeah. Except that wasn't electrical. Yeah, you oh, can't always be perfect. You know, it's a shame they didn't really do Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, and they say, um, something's approaching, there's the music playing. The shtick. <laughs> this is a much Why better Lovecraftian horror Why would you put a gramophone down here? You should play the Duh, first game. Expedition disease. Sorry, exposition <laughs> disease. We can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Landis, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer. This visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Pigs. What a recurring theme, almost like it's the name of the game. Yeah. I I wonder if that um engineer that was referenced there is Alexander. I can't tell anymore. I thought I heard uh, the voice actor for him at some point. Mandis, post-Diluvian. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the bilge clear. Divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames where it belongs and clear the path to the center of the machine. So you're now... Noah? <laughs> Are you sure this would be more parting the waters? No, it's just post-Diluvian, so after the flood. Right. Fair enough. This stuff again. It, I'll admit, this is a much nicer touch than press the button to continue that happens in so many games. <laughs> Yeah, except once you go through the decon chamber, you basically get more of the same. The only thing about this sewers is that they're less shit-stained. Suppose the decontamination works, then. Feast your eyes, gentlemen, on one of the most fucked up things I have seen in this game. 
having trouble figuring out what it's doing at this range. Uh, dear God, a whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind. My instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am sure somewhere in this dank complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go about their dark business, and yet, and yet, I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike. And I will not think of what I have seen of the chairs and cages, and I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. There's, um, a table covered in meat bits and blood and crap, and there's a kind of opened human torso and two pig creatures ah. just mowing down. Listening to this weird opera. Is that the uh, composure that was referenced earlier? That they were using to call the product? No, not at all. No. Are these doors heavy duty enough? Actually, considering the things are loose, no, they aren't. Interesting image. But we don't know exactly how powerful compared to regular man they are currently, so. Yeah. This one's playing with blocks. They are not without intelligence, apparently. But he keeps stacking them and then reaching for one and knocking the stack over with its snout on accident. Not much intelligence. Yeah. What I'm trying to figure out is, um... Is what? They're, they're, they seem to be real. I mean, they're, they're trapped in here. They're in cages. You can see them here. But then a lot of the times you'll see them wander around a corner and there's nowhere they could have gone around that corner. So it's like, Remember, are they real? Are they the hallucinations? They indicated some of them just sort of phase in and out of existence. That would be interesting. At least that's, what I, that's how I read one of the earlier notes. That actually makes sense. That kind of puts something in there. I thought that earlier note was supposed to be an explanation for the uh, water monsters. But... Could plausibly be both, but it seems to explain them wandering around corners a little better. But then, doors like these would be utterly useless. Well, from what the note said, though, there were only the oldest of the batch actually could faint, started phasing out. Which implies right. that later ones you know, were limited grounded. numbers and perhaps the problem will get worse over time. Down the hatch, wait for the blood to clear. It's interesting how it seems to be a natural lighting starting to peak. Is that natural lighting, though? Well, from the area, like, a couple of ladders ago, when I didn't have my lantern out, I couldn't see anything. Fair. To the bilge pump. To the loading screen. And who is that third, that shadow, that spirit child in the background? That barely formed, that changeling, that almost lived, that never missed. On the phone, go. have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Mandel. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. 
As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. Okay. More uh, triumph of mechanism. Indeed. More of the debate of human nature, but I didn't catch enough of it to have it further there. Yeah. Wasn't much debate. It was basically, yeah, totally. We suck. I said you'd come. Ah, that. Uh, these must be the bilge pumps. I am part of the saboteur's efforts. In order to keep his flood in place, he must have disabled these vast pumps. But he was clearly rushed. Thus far, he has left most of his work incomplete. His clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. What, you mean I can switch more knobs on and off? Gasp. Really? What a surprise. Now, getting back to Colton's comment about it being Debussy's work, work, though. I dragged myself deeper into the... Yeah. It, some of the vocal work does Lord sound Lord like Lord some Lord of the Lord movements Lord from Lord um, his Lord forgotten Lord works, Lord. or forgotten songs... Uh, compositions, so it's a possibility. It also kind of makes sense since WC was an impressionist. You'd get a pretty bizarre impression down here. So maybe it's I mean, like it's evil very, death metal WC. It, it's very much inspired death. by, but not the actual works. Never thought I'd be thinking of video game soundtrack as uh, impressionist. That startled me a little bit. Surprise to sting! Did you guys see the uh, surprise pig mask? It just flashed in the air for a second. No. Those pig masks keep showing up in the stranger and stranger places. I wonder if it was actually down there, if it was just a glitch. Yeah, it was on the ladder. Some sort of gas, and Mandis can't like, hold his breath for three seconds and walk past it. Video game character lung capacity is either non-existent or insane. Apparently, he's got mm. non-existent. Another pump. It seems I must once again engage it. I cannot help but feel I am trapped in some great game, <laughs> forced to undertake endless Herculean labors for the promised reward of my darling children. How weird! Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> We're sorry, protagonist. Your children are in another dungeon. Oh, that, we're yeah. sorry. Your children were just next door the entire time. We really don't know why you went so deep into there. It's wonderfully meta. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, double crap. There's a locker. Oh wait, ladders are just as good. Pigs can't <laughs> climb, right? Yeah. Invisible water monsters can't climb. Alright, so now I'm on the other side of this thing. So there's that.
Basically, how they just kind of fell right into place. Yeah. Good engineering, that. Magnetic. I need more gears. Is that a note on the bulletin board down there, or... Just a no, weird like coloration? You are here. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, why would I go look? I'm still vaguely curious how gears over there can influence that particular valve. Yeah. Well, it kind of feeds through. Yeah, but keeping it jammed? Well, Mandis has accepted he's a video game character, so... <laughs> Alright. This is a dead end, but I think there's a note down here. What does it surprise me? I thought Notes was... are always in inexplicable locations. just a dead end. Oh well. Yes, but the most... Very rarely do notes and stuff in games like this actually have an explanation for why they're in such out-of-the-way corners. With one possible exception. And what's that? The game EG. Never played. It's a independent platformer where they make a big deal out of the fact that there's both a pacifist and a kill everything route through it but you find <laughs> notes from your sister in the weirdest places until at you know later on spoilers as it were you realize that you were just kind of hallucinating them all the entire time <laughs> Machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final descent beckons me to enter as Lily once again lay on our wedding bed and summoned me into manhood. <laughs> and of course it's titled Freeing the Children. So, oh my. Oh my? I was just going to say Mandis is fucking the machine. Let's go with that one. What were you thinking? Nothing really, I was just being suggestive. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of plays into the whole... There's a lot of weird sexual stuff in this, and... <coughs> a lot of... The machine is Mandis' child. machines alive sort of things. Yeah. It really makes it worse that there's the pigmen children. Conveniently hidden loading screen. Indeed. That would be nice if they conveniently hit their loading screens. It's a common game development trick. I don't know if they did it here. Considering the lengthy loading screens between uh, the, most of the other areas, I doubt it. You just got some really simple machine drawings. Uh, yeah. Why? Why? No. Yeah. Why didn't they just use the loading there during the decontamination process? Uh, see, I don't know, man. All right, so this one's called The Children Dancing. The stairs are steep, the sun beating on his neck as he pulls them up. Veins pop on his forearms, but he cannot deviate. He is a man driven by love. I wish I had any context for these um, loading screen 
snippets. <laughs> might make help make sense of what they might mean. All right, March fifteenth, eighteen ninety nine. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden. They clean my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten ribcage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. And I remember when we pulled into South Hampton and we both wept for it was every bit as much a desecration as has been sung to me. And then when we came, and then we came to London and I set it upon the mantelpiece and I went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. Uh, does anybody want to look up the flower language for rhododendrons? See if that means something. Danger. Beware, I am dangerous. Rhododendrons? Yes. Okay. Any idea what burying someone under rhododendrons might mean? Okay, that's weird. So that's exactly what was just on that that diary entry that Mandis wrote. Except it was from the perspective of the orb. Weird. So, and the orb was talking to Mandis in the diary entry. And the orb... Uh, so many of the voice actors in this game sound alike. Do you think that voice is the guy on the phone? So maybe, maybe the orb is the voice on the phone? That would be interesting, considering you've commented that it's a voice very similar to yourself in this game. I mean, you as the player. Well, you as right, the character, yeah. damn it. Yes. Mandis. Also, that log entry seemed to imply that you started in March. Interesting. Also, this is feeling so very Bioshock at the moment built all of this in, what, nine months? That's really impressive. Oh, dear God. Dear Christ, what is this place? And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. <laughs> Alrighty.
This looks familiar from the very beginning. It does? To some degree. No, when you look up th when you look through the window up in front of you. what mm -hmm. Oh, it's just coincidence, I suspect. It still looks vaguely familiar. I always, I thought, uh, this looked kind of like coolant rods. It, there's in a clicking of Geiger counter and everything. Okay, it's not Geiger counter clicking; it's water dropping, but it sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like a Geiger counter. It's a weird nuclear reference, which is totally out of nowhere. There's some references in here that just don't fit. I mean, we never did get the Jaguar motif explained, even. Well, there's that entire yeah. having spent time in temples of South America where he got the, the illness. Temple. Yeah. It just doesn't... I mean, it, it well, may have just whole... been an excuse for a human sacrifice metaphor or motif. But there's that whole... You know, he just said he got the image for the machine in the delusion of the sickness, so... Man, this is like I'm almost done. Why are you standing behind a TIE fighter? Set them all free. <laughs> Does have that appearance. And now I shit goes bananas. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption! Where are my children? You promised me my children! My time is come! More pig! More pig! Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Self-sacrifice, Aztec style, hard out the room, kid. I don't know. Not really sure what happened there. I turned on the machine. I think that was the machine monologuing more pig and shit. Was it the machine or whoever it was that was talking to you through the phone? I'm beginning to think that's all the. Thing. <laughs>